Okay, so here we are again uh, for another video. <laughs> it's part five. This is something that's supposed to be ended in part two or part three. Someone made a funny comment on uh, one of my Facebook posts said, I better watch them now before it turns into a Fast and Furious saga. Well, <laughs> apparently it is. I should probably name these episodes some, uh, uh, with something Fast and Furious style. Anyway, thank you for being here for another video. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. Um, give me a like on this video. I mean, it's takes two seconds and really helps my videos uh, get them out there on the YouTube algorithm so just hit subscribe follow like all that stuff you know you know, you know what to do anyways it's not the, not your first rodeo you've been to YouTube for how many years now right um, so anyway so today's video is gonna be about uh, forensics once again it's a part five to that uh, series I'm gonna go over some more free tools that you can download right now and use so I mentioned autopsy before and some other ones uh, but I haven't mentioned these ones, so there's still more there's still more tools that I have here It's just I figured these are the ones that I use so I figured why not um, Also mention these ones so there's no particular order to these to these tools It's just just the ones I open in the tab here so I can go over them um, But like I said, there's way more tools than that. It's just just, just the ones that I, I would use um, on the case so the first tool here, and I'm going to also link all that below so you don't have to search for this stuff. I'll make it easier for you. So the first, first tool is a bulk extractor. So this can quickly go and extract a lot of uh, specific documents or emails or um, things of that nature. Uh, you can ignore the file system. It, uh, it's quick, so really worth checking out. So uh, bulk extractor, it's free. Uh, the link is here on Forensic Wiki, so you can go there. So I'm going to link this link, not this one here. Uh, this is just from DFI training, but um, the actual link is right here. Let me just close this tab. I think my ad blocker is uh, preventing loading this website, but um, but anyways, you shouldn't have the problem. We have a pretty secure network here, so a lot of stuff doesn't go through. So that's why it's not loading for me. Uh, if, I, if I were to disable my ad blocker, I'll probably pick that up. But um, anyways, that's besides the point. Um, next two is um, Eric Zimmerman tools. There's a lot of tools to go through here, so I'm not gonna go through each individual, but ju just just have a look here on my screen. Uh, you can see there's a lot. The uh, AM Cache Parser, Compact Cache Parser, uh, BS Strings. That'll be pretty useful if you want to dump a bunch of strings. Um, Easy Viewer, so I guess you can view a um, bunch of documents easily. Uh, you have a Hasher, uh, JLEC Command, Jump List Explorer. So quite a lot of tools here um, MFT tools um, there's just so much to go through here so you know for the sake of the length of this video I'm not gonna go through each one of them but um, uh, easy tools definitely definitely should be in your toolbox if you are, if you are, uh, if you are in forensics uh, this is something you should have uh, let's keep going so nearsoft is another one they have a lot of uh, free tools to get for web browser pass view this is for password recovery tool and these are updated too you can see network password recovery so a lot of a lot of tools here so I haven't even used maybe five of those so there's network monitoring tools what else we got here web browsing tools browsing history view browsing downloads view browsing bookmarks view. so so definitely something you should be using in your toolkit if you are in fact uh, doing forensic uh, audit on the computer and you know nowadays most most forensic examinations are involving um, computers uh, have a lot to do with internet so you are going to most of the time dumping stuff that's off uh, that's that that was related to internet search or uh, things like that very rarely you're gonna get something other than that I mean we get cases sometimes when we have to look at uh, USB devices that were plugged in and things of that nature but a lot of times is uh, internet stuff you can see I'm I keep going here there's just so many there are just so many tools uh, but yeah so this is another bunch of uh, tools you can use and another one that I use with my um, Gardonix is FTK Imager so this tool is free all you, all you gotta do is uh, go go to this link here and then they'll send you a link for download totally free if you know who access data is they make uh, pretty good forensic tools but they also give you some free stuff. So this freebie FTK imager, really good. It can image any drive um, and hash it. You can do a bunch of forensic formats. Really useful. I use it quite often uh, with Gardonix. Another one is Magnet. Magnet, uh, you, you've seen me use Magnet. It's a, it's a great uh, forensic tool, but they also have a lot of free stuff. So App Simulator, 
uh, lets you test Android apps. Um, encrypted disk detect detector. That's pretty good because if you you might end up sometimes imaging a drive and you don't know why you don't see a file structure or you just see a bunch of garbage, could be encrypted. So quick way of testing using EDV, you run it and it tells you if it's encrypted or not. I actually used uh, their built-in feature from Mac, from, uh, from uh, Axiom, which ha which is this this particular feature, uh, on one of my videos. Uh, you can see that I was able to figure out why my uh, recovered USB wasn't working. It was because it was encrypted. Uh, you can do RAM capture, web page saver, that's very, very useful. Web page saver is very useful because if you, you might have a case where uh, the mandate is to go and uh, down download a website. Uh, so it gives you everything there. Uh, custom artifacts generator, really useful as part of uh, Magnet Axiom. Uh, wordless generator, that's great for um, if you have Magnet Axiom, you can use your uh, uh, wordless generator. Uh, and Magnet Process Capture. Uh, that was a free tool that lets you capture uh, different devices. So yeah, um, one thing is don't use, if you're gonna re register a magnet and to download these tools, if you're gonna use something like info at whatever, whatever, they will not send you a download link. So be be, be careful what an email you use, make sure it's not some kind of generic email because they are, their, filter is, their filter is gonna ignore your email. Uh, another one, volatility. Um, I haven't used this one, but uh, I've heard this one's really good for capturing uh, memory. Uh, so I can't say much if I haven't used it, so I'm not gonna even try. Um, another one, Mac APT. So it's artifact, artifact parsing tool. So Mac APT is a um, tool to process Mac computer full disk images or live machine to extract data, metadata useful for forensic investigation. Um, so uh, you can work on any image in, that includes AFF4, which is a new forensic format that uh, we're starting to see now more often in use. So pretty useful tool if you're doing Mac forensics. Uh, another one, X mount. With X mount, you can you can convert on the fly um, different file file systems. So um, it's a free tool once again. Definitely useful if you have different images. Uh, another one here, um, Agent Ransack. I haven't used this one myself, but. Um, it's a file ser searching utility, so I'm sure you you're gonna you're gonna have uh, sometimes multiple images or uh, drive sources. You might have to search for some files, and you just need a quick way of searching it. I'm guessing this would be uh, a tool to use. And is it free? Ah, it's free for both commercial and personal use. So that's good. Um, let's keep going here. Uh, this one took me a while to find. Uh, uh, I remember using this years ago, and I have it installed, but I forgot the name of it. I have so many tools installed, I just completely forgot. I was like, holy crap, which which tool was it that I was using back in the day? Uh, I haven't used this in a long time, but it's good that I just found it again. It took me some time to find find this. So they, they have uh, forensic tools here. They have Windows Registry Recovery, Windows Finalizer, Internet in History Browser, Email History Browser, Instant Messaging Browser. So Definitely very, very good tools in forensics. Uh, once again, the free. Uh, let's open um, um, the screenshot here. So you can see once you load your uh, registry, you can go through every single um, section of registry. Definitely useful if you are doing forensics on a Windows machine. And if you're gonna work in the corporate world, you will be doing a lot of uh, Windows forensics. Um, so definitely useful. Uh, just I think if you're in a corporate world you're gonna have uh, you're not gonna be able to install anything you want unfortunately you're gonna have to probably go through the IT department and before they let you install any tools you want so definitely you can you can um, uh, suggest this tool to your IT administrator if you are in a corporate world um, and doing forensics and they're gonna let you install it or they won't I don't know depends on your IT person uh, but they have all the tools here that are not uh, specific to forensics, uh, network tools, network meters. So definitely a lot of interesting tools that you can um, use and they're free, which is great. Um, and then there's the, these two. I haven't used these two. Uh, decode. Uh, what does this do? We are pleased to announce the recent digital decode. code. The useful free application has been featured in numerous forensic books and the people over the years. And I think add some features. So what does it do? Someone suggested this tool to me. I have a chance to have a look at it. So I figured I'm gonna look with you, see what it does. 
Oh, I can decode timestamp data, which is very useful. Um, it, sometimes you might get um, timestamps in different format, and I've had this in many cases. I had to con convert it, and sometimes it could be could be wrong, and then it won't look good if you do it in uh, if you do it in a report. But <laughs> then you're gonna look kind of uh, stupid. So it's good to use uh, tools like this. So decode to decode the time code and data dump. It's a free tool which allows you to dump segments of data from an original storage image, physical image. It can be useful following extract scheme, stream of binary data. Mm -hmm. That's pretty useful too. I'm going to be getting these two because I'm going to find them uh, quite useful for my cases. Uh, so, two more tools that can add to my arsenal. I think it's a win. And the last one that I can think of is OS, OSF Mount. OSF makes uh, forensic tools, um, but they also have some free ones. So OSF Mount I use often uh, when mounting a disk image. Um, definitely, if, if you have some weird images or, or something you want to mount quickly as a drive in your Windows forensic machine, you can use OSF Mount to mount it and you can work off, off of the image. Uh, if you just want to work on a small subset of data, if you don't want to put the entire image to your forensic software and waste a day or whatever, so uh, OSF mount, uh, it's a great option. And you can see it mounts different uh, type of uh, images, DD, which is a raw image, VMDK, E01 for forensic images. Uh, does it support advanced AFF? Yeah, it supports AFF, so that's good. Uh, because you're gonna see a lot more AFF format nowadays. Even I mean, even we use AFF now more often for our, for our cases uh, because it's it's just better. It's a better format. Uh, so so yeah. So that's gonna wrap it up on free tools. Uh, like I said, quick video. I um, I figured I'm gonna put together a list of free tools that um, you should be playing around with. Obviously, I mentioned autopsy last time. Definitely, that's one. That, that's the one tool you should be playing around with. Uh, you know, make a fake case, run it through the software, see what you can find. Um, if you go to ISFC, which I mentioned in the first video, there's some fake cases there you can grab and uh, you can see how you do with these. Uh, if one day in the future I decide to make a part six, uh, I might. It won't be them soon. There might be some uh, some some different video next week. Um, but uh, I think this feed this this uh, series is, is at its end now. There's no more no more feed no more uh, parts to be added. I think I covered everything that I think it's fundamental in this field. Uh, so that's why I'm, I'm I think I'm, I'm happy with. Uh, with this last part, I don't, I don't know what I want to be adding anymore. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you you like it and subscribe and all that stuff I mentioned in the beginning of the video. You, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Won't be forensics.